Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review, and this is an Asvine. Now you'll see here Asvine Writing Instruments, and this is a brand out of China. Now you may have seen some of my V169 reviews already. This is not a V69. Uh, this is the P36. So I decided I would buy this pen and uh, I picked it up from Amazon uh, it, it does actually also sell on eBay and probably many other markets as well um, so I thought I, I would check this one out it's a little bit different than the v169 so I think let's open this box and if I just take the outer box off you'll see that there is this inner box here so uh, this comes with a slightly different manual on this one compared to the v169 you'll see uh, in on the box itself it's engraved asvine these are very similar to moon man cases and i think the two brands are actually aligned um, with the parent company so i think let's open the box and then you'll find the asvine instruction manual now this is a vacuum filling pen you can they also show you piston filling um eyedropper using a converter using an ink cartridge uh so you can get most of asvines in varying different formats in terms of the filling mechanism now if i remove the pen from the bed here and take it out of this plastic bag uh, i'll just shut the lid here you'll notice that this looks very similar to a conid uh, bulk filler oversized pen uh, very interesting and this is really what sold it to me uh, i don't have a conid i have had friends pen friends at various pen clubs that have had conids and i've been able to write with them and try them out and i have liked them they are made of titanium this uh, allegedly is made of titanium as well. It does kind of feel like it. It is a like brushed texture and it is light. Um, but what I would say is the price of this pen, like the V169s, is around about 45, 50 pound euros dollars. Now, the cost of steel for one kilogram in weight is around one US dollar for one kilogram. But for one kilogram of titanium, you're actually looking at $35. So you're looking at 35 times the cost for the material. So I do wonder at this price for the pen, whether or not it really is titanium. It does feel like it, but I, I don't know if it's really 100% titanium. It might be mixed with other alloys, possibly. Um, what you'll see here, um, the the pen itself here, the clip uh, fixes on here. Um, the clip here is a lot more bendable than uh, the V169, I would say. Uh, you do have this conical dome here on the cap finial. You get to see the nib here, and then you get to see the section, and the the pen sort of tapers down slightly to what is the cap band where it says asvine and then there's a step down and then it starts to taper back down to what is the piston fill-in knob and and unlike a conid a conid does have its own uh vac type filling mechanism i would say um maybe it is a piston i think it's more of a a vac filling mechanism you can you can lock off the o-ring uh, this is a piston so um, if I were to twist this, you'll see, just like a Twisby or any other piston pens, you'll see that piston moving there. Now, if I unscrew the cap, first thing you'll notice is uh, a... Now, the V169s come with an Asvine nib. Um, this you can get with an Asvine nib, or you can get it with a Bok nib. Uh, and I requested a Bok nib on this one. Um, now, I don't know, you cannot... Uh, on the V169s, you could unscrew the section this you cannot they they does seem as though they've glued it into place uh and then i think also let me see if i can 
yet I can remove the nib. So there you go, that's the bulk nib and feed. I'm guessing it's just an Asrine feed. And then you can just uh, push that back in and it's back in place. So uh, you can swap the nibs out. Uh, I, I don't think the section is any different. I know of some people that have taken, I think the Asrine nib and just put a bulk gold nib in place. So I think you should be able to do that quite easily. Uh, in terms of the size, it's actually a good size in, in the size of my hand. Uh, can you post the cap? You can. It's going to be very long. Uh, it's Again, I don't normally post my caps, as you probably know by now, but you can do. Uh, I would say, though, that the cap does feel very light. That uh, The metal on this does feel very light as well. So, uh, And there is also a bit of an ink window here as well. So you can get a little bit more of an ink window, even though you don't need it because you've got essentially the body here filling up with ink. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, I don't drop the tape measure, uh, is... About 145 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking at 70 millimeters in length. And if I unscrew the cap and we'll check the body here, try and not get it to roll around too much. So the length of the body, we're looking at about 130 millimeters in length. So very similar to that of the, the V169. So, uh, in a sense, it's, it's essentially the same length pen. I think we'll do a weight check. Now, obviously, this isn't inked up. So we'll do a full weight of the pen is uh, just over 30 grams in weight. The weight of the cap. We're looking at 11 grams, just over 11 grams. And I did say that that cap is quite light. And then if we try and stop the pen from spinning too much, we're looking about 19 grams in weight. So it, it is a light pen for sure. And I think that titanium is actually uh, doing its job because titanium is certainly lighter than steel and uh, other uh, metals uh, that are out there. So... I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the King Cobra. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the uh, Wyvern Serpent. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize. We have a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. We have the Asvine P36. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero. We have another Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero. This is in the Grande version. We have a Veritas, Gravitas uh, pens, and this is the Skittles. We have a Black Robin pens, Iago, and we have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to ink this up, actually, with a uh, dominant industry ink here, and this is called uh, Tassavarit, and... I'm going to ink that up because I'm not really sure what ink I want to put in this pen. So I'm just going to ink it up with that color. And I'm going to try and not spill it. So this is a green color. So we'll see what this is going to look like. Um, I'm going to try and do this on camera, but I'm also going to try and be a little bit careful because... <laughs> I don't want to spill it. And the, these uh, bottles, they, I don't think they're going to fall over, but um, they might if not. So let's see if we can. There you go. That's not too bad. Uh, what I might do, though, is just fill it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to express some air on this. So if I can show you here, I'm just going to express some air out of that pen right up to the ink window put it down into the bottle again and just fill it up to the max and then I'm just going to wipe it off 
Uh, try not to knock over the bottle of ink. So sometimes I can knock over those bottles quite nicely and have a bit of an inky mess. So, you can see here, if I just remove that out of the way, you can see here that that is now inked up. And you can see all of the ink here. So I think let's now do a writing sample. So this is uh, the Asvine. And it's the P36. Uh, and this is the titanium pen. Uh, and uh, I believe it's a medium. It's a Bok steel nib. It's not uh, an Asvine nib on this version of the pen. Uh, in terms of ink here, um, I did ink it up, and that is with Dominant Industry. And it's, uh, I don't know how you you pronounce this, but it's almost favourite, but with a T and an S. So, A-V-O-R-I-T-E. Now, I did think actually, once I started filling this pen up, that this is actually quite a dry ink. So it's probably going to look a little bit dry, but let's have a look at this. So in terms of line variation, this is a Bok uh, Western nib. I'd say it is pushing around about a fine to a medium. If I push a little bit harder, I can get a slight more line variation out of it. But you can see there that uh, you're not going to get much more out of that nib in terms of flex because it is a steel nib. You can also see, though, there's no hard starts or skips there, which is good. So the, the nib is fairly well tuned. Now, in terms of ink wetness, now this is where it might fall down a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Let's have a look at the, at the cross strokes. I think that's where it's going to be. Yeah, a little bit drier maybe there. Um, but it's not a bad... Uh, uh, sort of nib in terms of the ink wetness there I'd say that that is actually pretty good because it is a dry ink so what do I like what do I not like about this pen well one could argue it is another knockoff uh, to a point it's it's copying some of the designs of the Conid uh, bulk filler pen um, is it a hundred percent copy no it's not like a lot of the Jinhao X159s are not a 100% copy of a Mont Blanc 149. Um, but you do get a lot of uh, value for this money. Uh, around about uh, 45, 50 pounds, euros, dollars. Uh, this is actually a well-built pen. And I have to say, I'm I'm actually uh, intrigued to see what more Aswine will come out with. Because this is uh, a nice pen. Uh I might even want to actually pick up a few more of these uh, and have them in my collection as well. I've, I've got, a, uh, I think, four, uh, maybe five of the 169s now, um, but I might get a few more of these P36s. So really there's nothing I dislike about the pen other than maybe it's copying another brand to a degree. Um, but I do find that the pen, the build quality is superb. Um, I don't have the Asvine nib on this one. I went for Bok nib. The other Asvine V169s I have have got the Asvine nib on. Don't have any issues with those. So I think it would be fine in this pen as well. So there you have it. That's my review of the Asvine P36 Titanium Demonstrator in a medium steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.